Well, hello. Join us, explorers and grown-ups. Great that you can join me today. Can we have a big thumbs up? Excellent. Hope you're having a lovely day. I've just had a, a delicious bowl of porridge. Do you want to tell me what you've had for breakfast after three? One, two, three. Wow, lots of delicious ideas for breakfast there. Right, today's topic has got a big name. It's forgiveness. Now, what is forgiveness? That's about when we have done something wrong and we say sorry, and that person says, okay, let's go back to like how it was before that happened. Okay, there's a, a Bible story which helps with this. It explains how God forgives us. And that's the story of Jonah and the whale. And we've got Chris here to tell the story for you today. It's lovely to see you again today. I'm going to tell you a story about a man in the Bible. And there's something about this man. He was always moaning and groaning and complaining to God. And this is a story of something that happened to him. It's a very short book in the Bible. It's only two chapters long. It's very interesting. This man's name was Jonah. Jonah was a bit of a moaner. God spoke to Jonah one day and told him to go to a city called Nineveh and to tell the people who lived there that they needed to change the way they behaved because they were doing all sorts of things that made God very sad and quite cross with them. You would think that Jonah would be happy to go and help them, wouldn't you? What did Jonah do? He moaned. Not Nineveh, he said. Anywhere but Nineveh. The people who live there are our enemies. But when he had stopped moaning and groaning, he bought himself a ticket. A ticket for a boat ride because he had to go across the sea. But it was a boat ride that did not take him to Nineveh. It would take him in the other direction, away from Nineveh. Well, God listened to Jonah moaning. God watched Jonah buy his ticket. But you know, God still wanted Jonah to go to Nineveh. So when the boat reached the deepest part of the sea, God sent a storm. Help us, cried a sailor. We're sinking. Help us, cried another sailor. We're tipping over. God must be angry with somebody, said the captain. There's somebody here that God is cross with. What did Jonah do? Jonah moaned. And he groaned. And he said, it's me. I'm the one God's angry with. He told me to go to Nineveh. And here I am sailing the other way. Throw me into the sea and all your troubles will be over. <gasps> Forgive us, the sailors cried. And they tossed Jonah into the water. And almost... At once, the sea grew calm. Oh dear, moaned Jonah, I'm sinking. Oh no, groaned Jonah, I'm going to drown. Oh my, Jonah groaned, that's the biggest fish I've ever seen. And before he could moan and groan, another moan or groan, the fish opened his mouth and swallowed him whole. It was God who sent the fish to rescue Jonah and to give him time to think. He had plenty to groan about, of course, inside the fish's tummy. It was very smelly and slimy and it was full of nasty things. But you know, Jonah was still alive and that was something to feel good about. So Jonah stopped groaning and moaning and prayed a prayer. I was sinking, Lord. I was drowning, Lord, but you saved me. So now I will do whatever you want. 
and three whole days later, the fish spat Jonah up onto a beach. And Jonah kept his promise. He went straight to Nineveh and he told the people that God wanted them to change their evil ways. Forty days is all you've got, he warned them. And if you haven't changed by then, God will destroy your city. Well, the people of Nineveh, they listened. The people of Nineveh, they wept. They were so sorry and so scared. And then the people of Nineveh changed. The king changed and all the people in the whole of the city changed from doing the things that God didn't like and they stopped doing them and they decided to do what was right. Do you think Jonah was thrilled and happy? What did Jonah do? Jonah moaned. He sat down in the shade of a tree and he moaned. I knew this would happen, he said. You are a loving God. You love to forgive. But I don't like the people of Nineveh and I wish you had destroyed them. And Jonah fell asleep, still groaning and moaning under the shade of the tree. During the night, God sent a worm to kill the tree. And when Jonah woke up in the morning, he moaned even more. The tree is dead and now I've got no shade. Oh, Jonah, God sighed. You cry about this tree, but you don't care about the people of Nineveh. I love the people of Nineveh. I'm glad they've changed their ways. And I want you to love them like I do. Thank you for telling us that story, Chris. So we learned that um, God had a job for Jonah to do. He asked Jonah. Jonah didn't do it. Jonah ran away. And God had a rescue plan that involved the big fish or the whale. And Jonah said sorry to God. And God gave Jonah a second chance. The good news is God is like that with us. Sometimes we do the wrong thing. And all we have to do is say sorry to God. And God will give us a second chance. Would you like to join me in the prayer? Okay, hands together and close our eyes. Father God, we thank you that you are a kind and loving God. And we thank you that you're a God of second chances. We are sorry for the things that we've done that are wrong. And we thank you that you forgive us and you give us a second chance. Amen. For our craft today, we're going to make a Jonah game. So this is our big fish, our whale, and we have a little Jonah, and the game is to catch Jonah in the big fish's mouth. Okay, so for this, you need an empty plastic container. I mean, I've used a, a drinks cup, but um, a yoghurt carton, or even a plastic cup will work very well. So first we need a piece of grey or blue paper that's big enough to wrap around the cup with a little bit spare at the end. You're going to need grown-ups to help you with this one. I'm just going to put that into place with some cello tape. And I'm going to stick it to the cup at the top as well. Now we flatten the end there, I'm going to get some uh, glue and that will make the tail of the big fish. We just want a thin shape there. And then we need to make a thin shape for the top. Let's 
stick that on with a piece of sellotape too. Make the teeth out of a white triangle, zigzaggy, sharp, pointy teeth. So just cut that into two, and uh, we're going to glue that in place. Make a big open mouth, and I've got some stick-on eyes, but you can draw an eye on if you don't have any. Big fish. Piece of string. Oh, stick one part in the cup there. So just need Jonah for the end. So on a, a piece of card, I'm just going to draw the shape of a little Jonah person and uh, get a grown up to cut that out. And we want something quite heavy, so we could use uh, an old pen top or a, I've got a cork here. So first of all, st stick the piece of string on the cork, and then we're going to put our Jonah there. So Jonah and the whale game it's quite tricky you're going to have to practice quite a lot i hope that you enjoyed that now it's time for the puppets <laughs> Thank you. 